Welcome back, my beloved fans of the YouTube channel. Today I am going to begin Willie Beamish, which has been recommended or, uh, how do you say, uh, requested by a few of you. A few fucking thousand, I might add. So, uh, this game does have multiple endings and multiple paths. We're just going to do one of them. Sorry if I didn't take the path you wanted or did the thing you wanted me to do. You know, tough fucking dog balls. The Adventures of Willy fucking Beamish and his pet frog horny fucking toad. Now there's a talkie version of this where they do all their own voices, but what fun would that be? I'm taking over this shit. So if you don't like the sound of my voice, well I don't know what the fuck you're doing on my goddamn channel anyways. Go fucking listen to one of those pansy ass bastards that does a little pussy let's plays. Cause this ain't one of those, you bitch. There's plenty of fag let's plays out there, so... Go fucking watch one. Nineteen ninety one by Dynamics. Dynamics had a few hits. Day of elementary. Earlier today, Principal Frick addressed the students at a farewell assembly. Students of dear old Carbuncle, as I see your shining faces peering forward expectantly into the future on this last day of school. Morning! No! Shit! Blah, 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 huh? Ah, fuck! My fucking toupee, you cocksucker! Later, at the year's last session, after school detention. Atari Champ. Atari Championship tonight. The biggest fucking nerds from around the country. Fuck it, around the world. Willie Beamish goes head to head with Chung Town Town Bon Chung Town. His English name is Ben. Yeah, I got you, you fucking slanty eyed bastard. Fuck you, you white, white bastard, white American piece of shit. Yeah, I got this. Come on. Come on, you. Jingling motherfucker, I fucking get back at you, I'll kill you. Fuck, we got this ass. Oh shit! Willie Beamus, what the fuck did I just say? Oh shit, the old prune caught me. I better think of something fast. I said it's a beautiful sunny day. Your friends are outdoors having fun. The birds are singing. And your report cards are in today's mail. Oh man, let's see. I got in the music appreciation. It wasn't my fault. How am I going to explain it to Dad? He's going to shit. Won't your parents be surprised when they see your report cards? Mom and Dad, see my report card? They'll never give me the dough I need to see the Nintari Championships this summer. Fuck! Too bad you have to stay after school. What you did this morning was disgraceful, Willie. Just disgraceful. And in front of all the students. You little fucking whippersnapper, you. 
damn, it's gas, uh, I'm supposed to be in juvenile court today. Can I be excused? You didn't raise your hand, you stupid fuck. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> nice joke, <Jack>, Elmer. <laughs> Talking to your neighbor, fat fuck, chubby. Do you have something you'd wish to share with us, Willie? You little scrawny fucker. <laughs> You're for it now, Willie. Uh, must be something I had for lunch, you old prune. Perhaps you'd like to visit the nurse's office. Oh, I feel a stabbing pain in my side. He's faking it, Miss Grass. Ah, the pain. I think I'm going to throw up. I don't win an Academy Award for this. Okay, go to the nurse's office, Willie. And no Billy Dallion, you little pencil-legged prick. Can't wait till you see the new nurse, Willie. <laughs> Nice tits, holy fuck! This could be serious. I can't tell if you have a bruise or a contusion. Uh, what's the difference? While I look at your tits, explain that to me. About 300 bucks, does it hurt here? No, that doesn't hurt at all. You're gonna be just fine. You can go back to class now, Willie. That's alright. Just came to see your boobies! Now, people, I want you to write a composition. It will be called, How I Plan Not to Fuck Up My Summer Vacation. And I don't want to hear a peep out of any of you little shits. So we're going to take the white crayon and write hall pass on the board. Besides that, we have a couple other things. Our frog, our Atari Game Boy ripoff, our toupee. A yo-yo. Some chains and shit. I better not try to sneak out while the old prune is watching me. My, my, my. Where's the time gone? Carmine, why don't you read us your composition? How am I going to spend my summer vacation? First, me and my brother are gonna hotwire a car. Then we're gonna get some ski masks to drive out west. I think we've heard enough, Carmine. Read yours, Willie. I plan to play an Atari and hang out with my friends at our treehouse. We're gonna fuck a lot of bitches up there. And I'll win because I'll practice every chance I get. Okay, students, that's the bell. Have a nice summer. I didn't get a chance to sneak out of the classroom. Oh well, fuck it. All right, school's history. Summer's here. Time to get rid of this school junk and get home and play some fucking video games. This is the front door to the Beamish home. It opens into the foyer. Uh-oh, somebody beat me to the mail. Dad's gonna skin me alive when he sees that C. 
No worry, really. You probably would have been in more trouble if you had tried to hide the truth from your folks. Grandpa, boy, sure haven't heard from you in a while. You haven't needed me for a while. You gotta watch yourself, boy. Something foul is afoot in the city of Frumpton. Hey, Duffy, how you doing, boy? Hiya, boss. Maybe I should take him for a walk. Kibbles and grits, kibbles and grits. I'm going to get some fucking kibbles and grits, mother kibbles and grits. I'm gonna go see what mom's cooking. Bitch better be cooking. That was your last day of school, dear. Great, mom, just great. I'm glad you're home. I'm up to my ears and I really need your help. Aw, oh, mom, I just got home. I gotta unwind. Brianna, you'll just have to wait. Willie, you can unwind after you help me. Brianna's been whining all afternoon. Get her out of my head before I go fucking crazy. Just take her out of the backyard and bury her or some shit. Oh, no way, Mom. Brianna's a real bitch. And grab that Jinsu knife over there and Julian those veggies before dinner. No can do, ho. Gotta practice Nintari, bitch. You know, the championships are coming up. All I need all the practice I can get. And you're trying to fuck it up. Ah, uh, you promised me that Willie would take me outside. Brianna, I'm starting to lose my patience. Shut the fuck up! Okay, Mom, give me the Jensu knife. I'll get to work on the veggies. But I'm not gonna like it. Careful now, that knife's made out of real carbon steel. It's so sharp it can cut through a... Yeah, yeah, I know, ho. Shut up. Oh, fuck my thumb! God damn, I'm gonna die! Oh, don't be such a baby. It's just a little neck. It's throbbing. I feel faint. Such a big deal out of it. You're beginning to sound like Brianna. Just go upstairs and take care of it. You're bleeding all over the veggies. That knife looked rusty, Ma. You think I ought to put iodine on it? I don't care what you do, you little shit. Just don't make a mess of that. Bleeding all over the hallway. Bleeding all over the stairs I don't give a fuck Fuck you mom and fuck you little sister You can all eat my shit Better than gangrene. Boop. I'm an agony fuck. All patched up. I'm going to my room, to play some Atari. Fuck them bitches downstairs. All right, nothing like a little Nintari action. I've been played for at least eight hours. Nintari, sit on my face, bitch.
Monster Squad! Ooh, watch out! Fuck you, Karen! Oh shit, I'll get you, Cupcake Muffin, motherfucker! Yeah! Yeah! Pity the fool! Alright, I'm gonna go take a shit in my sister's room. You should take your sister's diary, Willie. So what? I can't read this shit? Oh well. Fuck it. Nice master like Willie. Well, my stupid sister isn't coming out to play, so fuck her. ass back in the house. edition copy of I didn't mean to turn you off to Maso Rosselli's expose on the lusty lives of computer programmers. This is a solid state 23 inch color television set from the hottest name in electronics, Phony. Tiffany, this is Melody. You won't believe what happened today. I heard Trish said that you know what you did, you know what you did with who. Call me as soon as you get home. This is Mr. Frick from Carmichael Elementary School. We've been having some discipline problems with your son, Willie, again. Mr. or Mrs. Famous, please give me a call at 555-0772 before 6 p.m. to discuss this matter. Blah 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 fucking fried chicken in the buffet line. Who gives a fuck? More bullshit. More bullshit. There are no messages, thank you. Okay, good. Now that we've cleared that up. Mr. Snickers. Mr. Snickers is sleeping right now. 
When he's not sleeping, eating, or shitting, Mr. Snickers likes to go outside, prowl and maul little creatures, then bring them inside and drop them on the rug as a present. Just last week, Mr. Snickers gave the Beamishes two dead robins and a live mouse. I said we kill that fucker. Get him to the Chinese restaurant down the street. The fuck is dinner gonna be ready? I'm starving. Time to play some more Nintari. Fucking big muffin, motherfucker. Peace. Well, ain't time for dinner. Oh, shit. Time to eat. Not time, bitch. Dub dub dub. Time for some grub. Great, Mom, what is it? Where's your father? Everyone's always late around here. Says, please have a pom fritter, but to my jubilee. Shut up, a voo, ya little show off. Pute poule voo. Tepe on, Brianna. Well, they don't talk to your little sister that way. Your dad should be home now, but he's got a big promotion. You know, Chris's father is a millionaire, and he's like a this daddy has made his fortune in women's lingerie. And I'll bet he looks pretty cute in it, too. Chris's father takes the whole family to south of France every summer. I think he's gonna ask me to come along this year. Yay! I'm gonna suck his cock over my dead body. Cliff is, like, so intellectual, you know what I mean? Then what's he doing with you? Stop arguing and eat, you little fucks. Remember, not a word about your dad's surprise party. Gordon, the vice president? Just think of the prestige, the money, and he's not even 40 yet. Hmm. When he comes home, let's all let him know how much we love him. Hi, Daddy. Hi, honey. Hi, kids. Hey, Dad, congratulations on your promotion. Oh, Daddy was so proud of you. Should I tell me, Mon Pierre? Well, when do you start your new job, Mr. Vice President? Dad, can I have the 2500 bucks I need to go to the Nintari Championships? Can I get a new car, Daddy, when I get my driver's license? Oh, go. Now take that cruise to the Galapagos Islands. I'm afraid I have some bad news. The agency let me go today. What? 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 Who? What the fuck? The old man said he's got to downsize the agency restructure. He said the public relations is in a period of negative accelerated growth. Then he gave me my job to a guy four years younger than me. You mean you got fired? Just like that? Just like that. I'm a failure. Nearly 40 and I'm out of a job. What the fuck? Oh my god, daddy's been pink slipped. Don't worry, kids. People lose their jobs every day. I'm sure your father has a contingency plan. Right, dear? Not really. You money-hungry bitch. What do you mean? How are we supposed to make mortgage and car payments? 
How are we gonna pay for Brianna's gifted preschool program? Or the credit cards? Or my facials? Or my nail reps? Or Tiffany's nose job? Can you still give me the 2500 I need to get to the Atari Championships? Fuck food. Sorry son, it's time to cut back, trim the fat, tighten the belt. When we get back on our feet, we'll take another look, okay? Ah, oh, fuck y'all. Now listen up. We're all gonna have to make some changes around here, you know, sacrifices. It's only temporary. Hey, anybody seen the mail? I brought it in when I came home from school. Here it is. Thanks, hon. Bills, more bills, whatever happened to junk mail? Hey, something from Carbuncle School. I wonder if it's an imitation of the father-son softball game. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, it's Willie's report card. Not bad, not bad. But what's this C in music appreciation? You better be a total jerk to get a C in music appreciation, you know. Vic can play the piano with one hand. What's he doing with the other hand? Cliff doesn't waste his life playing stupid Atari, you know. I'm not stupid. It's really good for my hand-eye coordination, you stupid bitch. Gordon, I warned you, the moment you brought that Atari game into the house. Ma, Dad. I don't want to discuss it anymore. Tiffany, here. Take the Atari key. Lock the damn thing up. I'm the boss around here, and what I say goes. Consider it locked, Dad. Gotta get that key back. Can't practice and I'll never win the championship. My fucking cuntback sister's got it now. Quiet everyone, I wanna hear this shit. This just it. Marathon talks between Mayor Dinks and the plumbers are broken off. An unidentified source of KOPK knows that there were unconfirmed reports of name calling and obscene gestures. Union boss Lewis Stooley could not be reached for comment. Mayor Dinks is expected to hold a news conference tomorrow morning. We'll interrupt our regularly scheduled programming if there are any new developments. Stay tuned for our 11 o'clock broadcast for more news, weather, and highlights on the Frumpton Girls Volleyball Playoffs. And lots of ads. Live from KOPK Newsroom, this is Dan Leather. One ugly motherfucker. Slam the cooler! So fucking funky! Turns you into a motherfucking cooler junkie! Just one sip, and you'll agree! You got a lot more fucking energy, Slam Dunk! <laughs> I'll tell you, Frumpton is going downhill fast! Now the plumbers are gonna go on strike! I'm sure Mayor Dinks has everything under control. Yeah, maybe this chocolate mousse will chill you out. Boy, this does look rich. Contains no sugars, additives, or preservatives. I made it too sweet. Only two calories per serving. Oh, please. Just give me something fucking... Why couldn't I come up with something like too sweet? Everybody uses this stuff. Ya. Hey boy, you're part of the family too. Really? I told you a thousand times not to feed that overgrown mangy mud at the table. It's not good for him. Sure it is, Mom. It doesn't have any sugar. It's made of too sweet. You said so yourself. Willie, get that miserable mud out of here now. Didn't they teach that dog anything in obedience school? Meanwhile, I tell you, babe, we got something in the palm of our hand. With my boys out on strike and the world our oyster, gonna make some folks mad, though. Don't worry, I 
and take it out and place an ad for a new spokesman for Toe Sweet. Yes, so? So all we gotta do now is wait for gullible sap we can use as a fall guard and knock on our door. <laughs> <laughs> I need a cigarette, fuck. Look at my sagging titties. <laughs> this guy will have to be a real dick shit. Don't worry, it won't be long now, sweet cheeks. You and I are gonna own something. Ah, I feel so relaxed. This hot tub works great. Of course it does. You would start it yourself. Just like these sagging titties. And we'll be back next episode for some more Willie Beamish.